Welcome to a free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to build an update query. Now, most queries are used to just display data in a different way, a custom format that you want to see it in. An update query can actually be used to change data in your table. All right, so update queries are very powerful. Here's an example. I have a basic customer table. Customer ID, first name, last name, state, and a zone they're in. Now this zone is simply used internally in my company to determine perhaps what sales rep handles that customer. Now we've done some reorganizing in the company and we're getting rid of our northeast zone. So all the customers that have the northeast zone need to be changed to say north. Now yes, I only have five customers here, so I could just easily go in here and change this by hand. But let's pretend I had 5,000 customers, and a good number of them said Northeast. I have to change those all over so they say North. How can I do that? I'm going to go to Queries, and then New. Pick Design View, and then OK. I'll bring in my Customer Table, and hit Close. Now, let's take a look at the zone. Bring the zone in. And if I run my query right now, you'll see there's my list of zones for each customer. And if you want to put the customer ID in here too, that's fine. I'll drop customer ID in here. Now, I cover basic query design in my Access 101 class. So if this seems unfamiliar to you, check out my Access 101 tutorial. So here's each customer and his zone. Now, I want to change this query from a select query over to an update query. All right, there's a little button right here that says query type. If you drop this down, you'll see update query, append query, delete query, and there's more. Drop this little box down. There's also cross tab and make table queries. Okay, I cover all of these in my different full length access tutorials, but for right now, I want to focus on update queries. An update query is used to change a value. Okay, change a value. And I should probably caution you at this point, before you create an update query, always back up your databases just in case you build it wrong. Update queries are used to change the data in a table. So make sure you back up your database first before running an update query. Now there's two new rows down here. There's update two and criteria. Well, criteria is what we're searching for. We want to change. In this particular case, it's northeast. I want to find all the records whose zone equals northeast. And I want to change them to north. So when this query runs, it's going to find all the records where the zone is equal to northeast, and it's going to change them or update them to just north. All right, let's run the query. Now I clicked on the exclamation point to run it, but nothing appeared to happen. The update query runs in the background, all right, and there are no visible results. If you want to see the changes, just go back and take a look at your table. Let's go to Tables, open up the Customer T, and there we go. All the Northeasts have been changed to North, and that is because of our update query. Now I've only scratched the surface of update queries. There's a lot more that you can do with update queries. This was only a real simple basic example. Yes, even with this you could still use a find and replace to do it, but once you learn how to use update queries you can start to build solutions for end users that don't involve them having to know how to do a find and replace or know how to copy and paste values or manually editing your tables. So update queries are good for automating changes to your tables. And I talk about this more in my Access 222 class, which you can find at accesslearningzone.com, question mark, G-O-A-C-222. That's a direct link to the class where I talk about update queries. There are also more types of action queries. There's make table queries, which are used to build tables. There's delete queries that are used to delete records. Okay. There's append queries that are used to add records onto the end of tables, and lots more. And I talk about all these in Access 222. And of course, while you're at the website, be sure to stop by the free tips and tricks section at accesslearningzone.com tips, where you can find more free tutorials just like this one.